The Scratch team at the MIT Media Lab has been working on a new generation of Scratch, Scratch 2.0. Our goal is to enhance creativity and collaboration with Scratch so that you can create new types of projects, work together in new ways, and learn new things in the process. Let's check out some of the new features in Scratch 2.0. On the new homepage, you can follow what other people have been doing in Scratch recently, and now you can scroll through the rows of projects and see many more. On the new project page, you can run the project, favorite the project, love the project, and write comments. But now you can do even more. In Scratch 2.0, you can see inside to see how the project was made, and you can even experiment with the code. The new paint editor is built right in and uses vector graphics, so the images can scale to different sizes without getting jagged. With Scratch 2.0, I can open up the backpack at the bottom of the screen and drag in the costume, go to a different project, and drag the costume into the new project. Remixing is as easy as that. I can even drag scripts and sounds and sprites into the backpack too. This project also shows another new feature of Scratch 2.0. You can now create your own programming blocks. Here I created a jump block. Each time I click on jump, the creature jumps. In Scratch 2.0, my profile page is where I present myself to the rest of the Scratch community. I can feature one of my projects, and I can tell people about myself and what I'm working on. People can also see my collection of projects, my favorites, my galleries, other Scratchers that I'm following, and who's following me. There's also a place where people can write comments to me. Let's check out this other feature of Scratch 2.0, Cloud Data. Now you can store variables and lists online, and everyone can access the same data. This is an online survey where everyone can vote on their favorite Scratch sprite, and the results are stored online. Cloud data can also be used to create a high scores list for a game. With the new cloud variables, you can keep track of scores for everyone who's ever played the game. Another new feature in Scratch 2.0 is cloning. That means you can create copies of a sprite from within a script. If I look inside, there is just a single sprite, but it copies itself over and over when I press the spacebar. One final feature. With Scratch 2.0, you can use the webcam on your computer to detect body movements in the world, somewhat like the Microsoft Kinect. Here's a project where you can pop balloons on the screen just by moving your arms. All of us on the Scratch team are excited to see what Scratchers around the world do with Scratch 2.0. We can't wait to see what you create.